Well, welcome. Um, I've got a little Johnny avatar here. There we go. Uh, my name is Adam Savage. I'm the host of Mythbusters on the Discovery Channel. Uh, I'm not going to waste a lot of your time here. I'm going to tell you that in an age when a lot of television seems to be racing to the bottom, let's give it up for a show that celebrates being intelligent. And let's meet the people responsible for making that show. Executive producer Chuck Lorre. Executive producer Bill Brady. Executive producer Steve Malaro. Maya Bialik. Coming to you live from New York, where he's starring in Harvey on Broadway, Jim Parsons via satellite. <laughs> Kaylee Cuoco. <laughs> Who now <down> there? <laughs> Simon Helper. <laughs> Melissa Ralph. <laughs> there he is. All right, guys. <laughs> let's let's get you warmed up with a quick fire from Chuck on down. You guys want to give us a uh, what are some hot? What's a highlight for you this season? Wow, uh, for me the highlight would have to be the last scene of the last episode where everybody was watching uh, as uh, Wallowitz blasts off for space and uh, and and they held hands with each other. It, that was a moment that oh. transcended what we what we anticipated. Uh, mine, mine happened not on screen, but I was in Chuck's office with Steve, and Chuck's assistant came in and said, Bill, Leonard Nimoy's on the phone for you. <laughs> uh, getting to shake Stephen Hawking's hand and learning that they actually let you do that. <laughs> uh, I'd say Stephen Hawking was pretty amazing personally, but I think in terms of our show, I think when Sheldon took Amy's hand, that was for me really special. Uh, wait, don't skip. Wait, oh, Jim! Jim. <laughs> yeah. That just came so easy for me to walk all over him. Hi! Can, can you hear me? Yes! <laughs> okay. Um, I would just say, uh, and I kind of agree with Mayim, I like the hand holding, but um, I really liked the, in general, exploration of the whole Mayim, uh, Mayim uh, Amy and Sheldon relationship. That was, that was very fun to see where that's going, as slowly as it may be. <laughs> <laughs> Mayim kissed your screen, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear you. you can. Jim, can you hear us? Yeah, very clearly. We miss you, man. Oh, I miss you too. <laughs> Does everybody know that he's the star of a Broadway play right now? Uh... <laughs> Are there any tickets left, Jim? I can get a few. <laughs> <laughs> we could send the audience to Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I guess I'm, I'm going to be a follower. It was the last scene of that last episode when Howard was flying into space and we all were clasping hands. And I cried at that scene the minute we read it at the table read, every run through we had during the week to the live taping. <laughs> I cried every time. It just had so many different meanings. It was a very special scene. It was really, really nice. Uh, yeah, I also cried in the last moment. I think that's like the one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your fa everyone's favorite scene was the one I wasn't in. That's I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but you were but there. You were. Pick up on something here. Uh, I think yeah, for me it was probably doing uh, an impression of Stephen Hawking in front of Stephen Hawking. <laughs> uh, he was there watching a run through, and and just the the sheer fact that he he didn't run me over after that. <laughs> Uh, that was comforting. You know, Simon, I was yeah. sitting next to him. He, he laughed. Well, yeah. you, you cracked him up. You really did. Now, how does he laugh? It, it's, it's a, no, no he uh, laughs. You, you, know, you can see, yeah, yeah. you absolutely can he, see he, that he's laughing. laughing at, and, yeah. um, he LOL, also, he, he also laughed it on it. 
Kelly line. Yeah, yeah. we know when, Ka when Kaylee when Kaylee at the run through and Stephen Hawking was sitting there. And, wait. Oh yeah. What was the line? Oh, I had to say. What was the line? I could barely remember it that day. It was. Um, oh, I had to say. Right, and he was right there for run through to say, yeah, the wheelchair, the guy in the wheelchair, right? The wheelchair who invented, wheelchair. invented time. <laughs> wheelchair, yeah, who invented time? And he was sitting right there, and I saw him laugh. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't look him in the eye. He's like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry. I think you stuck your head in the washer. You, you were did, in the dryer yeah. set. Yes, you, I did. You said the right. item and you hit. Yes. It was quite an experience. What was that? Oh, that's me. Um, honestly, it's that last moment for me as well. But then also, Simon, um, when Howard went into space, the space training, I thought that was fantastic. Yeah, you were awesome in that. Yeah. Oh, please. <laughs> but that was all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, you guys also had Leonard Nimoy on the show. You guys, uh, that's, that's, I mean, when you talk science fiction and geek royalty, it's hard to go, well, Stephen Hawking, I guess, would be there. Leonard Nimoy, just there. How was it having Leonard on the on the show? Um, amazing. open question. <laughs> oh, open question. I shared a bathroom with him, so just saying. <laughs> <laughs> that it was, was crazy having amazing. him in the makeup room. Mm -hmm. No, he wasn't in the makeup. Yeah, in the read through. Mm -hmm. the I makeup think he room. was in the makeup room. Yeah. Yeah, for the read through, just having hearing that voice and saying, "Oh, there's Leonard Nimoy." Oh. For the run through, that was pretty cool. Yeah. I can I can tell you that Bill Prady lost his mind, <laughs> and. The, when we were about to meet Leonard, we were sitting up in the bleachers where the audience usually is, and instead of going down the stairs, Bill decided to climb up <laughs> over the railing and jump down onto the stage. And you may not know this, Bill's not the most athletic fellow. <laughs> and he managed to do it like a, I don't know, like Spider-Man, slow, awkward cousin. He made his way over it. And, and Bill, Bill has thrown his back out flossing, so. <laughs> And then later in the office, we were alone, and he said, tell me the truth. Did I embarrass myself? And I, and I said, yeah. And, and I said, tell me the truth. Did you hurt your back? And he said, yeah. <laughs> now, shaking Stephen Hawking's hand, I have to know what that's like. Did you all shake his hand? If, yeah. yeah. He, yeah. In, he insists on it. He, you know, he, 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 I guess he can... He can we had, he, he, had, he has he has <coughs> feeling he has feeling he just has no motor control, so he asks his uh, uh, assistant to lift his hand so you can shake it. It's uh, you're connecting with such a remarkable person. It was, and that he wanted then he wanted to come watch a run through was just amazing to us. <laughs> and he has a wicked sense of humor. I mean, he'll make you wait for an answer that he has. <laughs> but he just likes to watch people wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole different kind of comic timing. A whole different comic timing, yeah. Uh, well, why don't, we, uh, why don't we throw to some questions from the audience? Great. Yeah! Um, we have some uh, people lined up. It's uh. Wallowin! Wow. Hey, hey, I like your set. <laughs> that, that is what you were trying to do, right? Yes. Okay. You don't just do that every day, do you? I do. Oh. Just see, he's a much better looking version of this. Do you have the little pin on your collar? I lost it last year, so. <laughs> oh, well, then sit down. Oh. Next. <laughs> um, five excellent seasons. Um, can't wait until the next season. Um, I had a question for Simon. I, you, you, you don't say. <laughs> you able to uh, actually fit in this type of getup? Uh, you feel my pain, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> I help with the stuffing. <laughs> well, it's off the record. Ah, because I do it! <laughs> um, yeah, it's, you know, uh, I, in the very beginning it did require assistance. Uh, there, there are wardrobe ladies that I literally would have to occasionally call up into the room to help get my pants off. Um, so, you know, which is a nice job, I assume, for them. They're getting paid to, to take my, my pants off. Um, I didn't get much out of it, but uh, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's exciting every week to, to open my dressing room and see what, what is hanging there. Um, and uh, uh, I won't make a bad joke about things hanging. Uh, but yeah, so it, it's, a, it's, it's a lot of sucking in and um, just praying. All the hanging and sucking, man. You gotta yeah. stop, man. <laughs> you went there. That's gonna be the name of your biography, yeah. all the hung, hanging and sucking yeah. in the Simon Hilbert's There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, next question. Uh, 
<laughs> Hello, we, uh, I'm Arturo, she's my sister Lisette. Hi. Uh, Hi. We come Hi. from Guadalajara, Mexico, and we have a question. We love the show. Um, do you really understand all the movies, video games, and science um, facts that you say on the show, or you just <laughs> read the screen? Why are you guys looking at me yeah. every time? Yeah. Right? None of them. She wants to live long no. and prosperous. I know, I know. She wants to live long and prosperous. Simon. Really? Because <laughs> apparently I did it wrong last time. Remember this? What? The live long and prosper sign? Oh. I still no. don't. There's a thing that's on a, on a gag reel, but it was, and you almost started crying because you were, you can't <laughs> do this, right? Your hand goes like that. It was a little forward. Well. Goes like that. <laughs> and. I can't, yeah. But what happened? <laughs> No, but what happened was the camera shot, the way the camera was turned, when we were looking at it on the monitors, it looked like you weren't doing it at all. At all, yeah, right. So we kept walking over and saying, <laughs> you're, you're not doing it. And you, 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 and you went, I am, I am so. <laughs> you want to mess that up, you know, in front of them yeah, yeah. at our show, so we try. I think they booed us that day. <laughs> I got it by the end. All right, next question. Hi guys, I'm a fan of all of you, but Jim, we miss you, and my question is for you. Are you a yes. man or a Muppet? <laughs> really excited to, I thought it was very appropriate casting to cast me as a Muppet, because that's how I feel, and um, so it really worked out well, but I will be, I am a man. <laughs> I'm a man. <laughs> uh, next question. Hey guys, Hi. glad to be here. Hi. I'm Mike Hurd and I'm from Thunder Bay, Ontario. I came down to uh, see you guys. Woo! I'm a big fan. Kaylee, you look good, as great as ever. Uh, Thanks. My question is for, is for, oh, don't worry, Kuna, all right? You're going to have to bad yourself. Uh, what? Now, now that Howard and Bernadette are getting married, my question is, is Howard, or not Howard, but Rajesh, is he ever going to find anyone? Well, it's a good thing. Hey, hey, hey. Take that. Hey, guys. It's going nice. to be pitied by... I know, I love it. It's going to be okay. <laughs> After falling in love with Siri, I don't really know how far down, how far down that uh, that that rope he can go. But um, you think you got my, my bosses out. are here, so you can ask them. We have a romance planned for Rajesh. Woo! Uh, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, wait till you see it. <laughs> Next question. Okay. Hi, I'm Rachel. <laughs> and I wanted to know if you guys could sing Soft Kitty in a round. Soft in a round. Sing Soft Kitty in a round? That's but way above our base scale. Go, start it off, Melissa. <laughs> you're, you're, you're half of the table. Yeah, half the table. You're half the table, start. Soft Kitty, warm kitty, soft kitty. The side was so much better. Yeah. That worked even with the satellite delay. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Hi, Jim. Nice computer entity there. <laughs> Thank so, you. <laughs> so, I noticed you use the same nurse in Two and a Half Men and the Big Bang Theory. Have you ever thought of doing like a little crossover between both shows? I don't know. Howard building something for Walt and Schmidt. Oh. Crossover. Oh, a crossover. Yeah, sure. Okay, we'll get right on that. <laughs> we, you know, we actually we had discussed many times that one of these guys would be great to uh, to uh, tutor uh, Jake on Two and a Half Men because uh, he's such a knucklehead. So, uh oh. Uh, the next question is from the Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah. 
Wow, Andrew Garfield is here. That's yeah. so, that's so cool. No, no, no. Oh, hey, I came all the way from New York City. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Took you like 10 seconds. Well played. Oh, okay. A long plane I need, ride. I need you guys to uh, get into character for a second because um, I have a kind of nerd, nerd, nerdy question. If do you guys think Magneto can lift Thor's hammer? Can Magneto lift Thor's hammer? Wait, what did you say? Wait, can you repeat the question slowly? Can you take the off answer? your mask no and wait, say wait, the wait, question? Show us who you are. Can, I thought, I'm the, yeah. uh, can Magneto lift Thor's hammer? Yeah. Man, can Magneto lift Thor's hammer? Who's Magneto? Thor's hammer. Can he lift Magneto? Thor's no, hammer my, my, wait. I'm joking. I'm joking, my, guys. No. Obviously, that's a joke. Um, like, obviously. <laughs> wow. But don't even ask guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, Cutest Child in America is next with the microphone. All right, Beyonce. Cutest Child in America's question. You have a little mohawk. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, this one's for Jim Parson. Uh, why does Sheldon like the Flash? Why does Sheldon like the Flash? I don't want to disappoint the cutest kid in America yeah, yeah, yeah. that I can't even see, but um, I think Bill, I Chuck, help. Steve, why does Sheldon like the Flash? <laughs> I, I think what Jim is trying to say is Sheldon likes the Flash because when he was growing up, he was bullied and picked on a lot, and the Flash is a superhero who's really good at running away. Oh, uh, <laughs> thank you. Did I get that right, Jim? <laughs> that is perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Mohawk. <laughs> Next question. Uh, hey guys, um, one of the most fun parts of the show is watching the progressive geekification of Penny. And I was wondering now, especially with the addition of Bernadette and, and Amy in there, now she's one of seven people and she's the only one who's not a, a diehard geek. Say. Is there any plan to make any more wholesale transition from sort of a socialite into uh, into a geek herself? Too many big words, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're actors. Dumb it down a little. What? <laughs> In that case, the question is for the producers. Yeah, How about that? <laughs> yeah, totally. Like, awesome. <laughs> but Kaylee herself, is you're like a big Game of Thrones person. Or... Oh, yeah. John oh, and Harry, Snow. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Oh yeah. <laughs> so apparently she likes it for the wrong reason. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like the construction of an alternate. No, John yeah. Smith. Okay. Right. <laughs> Next question. Uh, hi, I'm the cutest kid in uh, the cutest kid in America's big brother. Um, <laughs> Where are your parents? Uh, you, yeah, I was wondering, uh, do any of you have the personality traits as your characters? <laughs> None of us want to admit it, is that the problem? <laughs> We're like, um... I, I have personality characteristics of uh, Sheldon's character, does that count? <laughs> Uh, um. <laughs> we are also on this show. We should probably answer this. Uh, I, uh, he can't talk. I guess that's... Yeah. that's <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I live next door to people. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, next question. Um, I have a question about um, if you uh, need to, or you can't cook, <coughs> like, why is there always takeout? <laughs> you know, a lot of people ask this, it's very funny. We're, we are very busy. <laughs> um, we're busy thinking and creating things and changing the world around you, so yes. we don't have time to cook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Thank you. <laughs> Next question. Hey, 
Hey, um, I've been reading a lot about the Higgs boson particle discovery, and I was wondering how quickly you start thinking about how to use it in the show and how your characters are going to react to it. Kaylee? I have been thinking a lot about that. <laughs> you and me both, sister. Can't stop thinking about it. I know. <laughs> answer that for you, but we need to ask you that all day. <laughs> Jim, I got an email from Jim, I got an email from you the morning that the Higgs boson uh, was was discovered, and you and the email were surprised you were sending the email, I think, right? <laughs> yes, I was. Uh, I did. I found that remarkable that, that I knew what the hell the title of that article meant when I saw it on the internet that morning, but I did. I still didn't understand the article when I read it, but I did understand it, it had implications for my current job. Um, and that's as far as I got, so I immediately wrote Bill. <laughs> Question. Good afternoon. Um, my question is for the two-time Emmy Award winner on Satellite. Jim, I, I just want to know, were you good at science when you were in school? No, not particularly. Um, I did honestly have a, an interest in uh, meteorology very briefly, uh, but by then I was already in theater at the same time, which I, so I immediately had a lot more passion for because I failed meteorology. But it wasn't that I didn't get it, it was that I didn't try. Or maybe it was I didn't get it either, but I didn't try enough to know if I could get it. So that was my relationship with science. Oh, another child. Yes, sir. What's your question? Uh, this is for all of you. What are your favorite lines? Why don't we start from Melissa on down? Oh, oh man. Horizontal. Um. <laughs> <laughs> They're flattering. Anything is as Mrs. Wallowitz would be my favorite stuff. So. Hear, hear a little Mrs. Wallowitz from me? I'm sorry? Did you do a little Mrs. Oh, Wallowitz? Oh, um... Mrs. Wallowitz is played by, not by Melissa, but by the wonderful actress Carol Ann Susie, who was here last year. So if you were here last year, you heard her. <laughs> <laughs> Simon? Oh man, Fa uh, my favorite lines. Um, it's so hard. I got a date? Is that you said? Or is that you just you telling me that I have a date? Or Are you? Oh. Oh, that's his favorite line? Is that what you're saying? <clears throat> I guess. Sure. I guess. I guess they asked you the question. <laughs> now I. You know. Um, I. Gosh. I wish I could. Rem I can't remember any lines. I, I, we. You know. We learn an episode every week. Um, so. But I. You know. I do. I do enjoy the exchanges with Mrs. Wallowitz. It's, it's fun to let out all of my my frustration um, in life on this poor. <laughs> Lady behind the. A, a my, my favorite thing, the way you, the way you said, "I ate a butterfly." Was my <laughs> oh, that, yeah. that was amazing. Yeah, I enjoyed. Yeah, I enjoyed that a lot. I, I, that was that was a very fun scene to do. Yeah, so I ate a butterfly. I, I enjoyed that line. Kuno? I got it's. I don't know. I like it when I have to say the any word with a little p, like poop, because I think that always sounds good. Although I don't think I've ever said poop on the show. I'm gonna stop talking because I don't have a right answer. <laughs> I guess mine is when Sheldon and I have our penny, penny, pennies at the door. And I like how in recent seasons, Penny's been answering back. Yeah. <laughs> Which makes me laugh, because you got to yeah. do it. Right, Penny? Um, I like uh, 
uh, anytime Sheldon picks up some sort of the vernacular that's going around, and I don't know where he's heard it from, and there was an exchange that happened this year between me and Leonard, and I can't remember what the topic was, but I ended it with telling him, I don't know your life, and I thought that was really interesting. <laughs> I know your life. <laughs> Uh, I think for me this year it would be it's a tiara. Yeah. <laughs> it's a tiara. All right, next question. Hi. Um, this question is for Kaylee. Um, uh, when you like, do you, when you actually go to the cheesecake factory, like a le like a legitimate one, is it like a big deal for like the staff and all that? <laughs> been there a long time. <laughs> I went. Owns it now. I no. I did go a couple years ago and did I you know I'm so unaware of of myself and when I'm out or at the show, you know, I don't really think about it. So I did go there with some friends and was getting a lot of looks and things and I thought something was on my face and I just wasn't getting it at all until we went home and it took me days and like days later I was like oh, that's why and I, it, it took me a long time but I'm just not in that mindset so I haven't really been back I like pretending to, to work it's like when I go to space like yeah <laughs> people are like hey aren't you um... very similar <laughs> all right uh, next question um, hi, my name's for Katie. Oh, geez, sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's gonna be a test on this later. Yeah. I'm gonna... <clears throat> Ting it. What? Um, my question is for Katie. Katie, Katie, yes, yes, that's me. Okay, um, I was wondering how was it on the set? <laughs> that's a cliffhanger. Okay? It, I was like, on the edge of my seat. Um, we have a great time on the set. We have a we have a we have a great time oh. on the set. Um, we right we hang out and we play ping pong and we talk occasionally and <laughs> sometimes. So, What's the median age of this <laughs> band? Oh. I'm so confused. <laughs> Everyone's eight years old here today. I'm so I love it, but I'm so confused. Next next question. Hi. Okay. <laughs> And I challenge you to a nerd battle. Do you accept? <laughs> wait, wait, challenge Bill Brady. Yeah, challenge what? Bill Brady. You. What? All of us. All of you. All oh, of all of us? Okay. What, what's exactly involved? No idea. Okay. <laughs> we is accept. It, is, it, is it to the death? Yes. Then we need to talk about screening the questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. For future reference, like ghouls to talk. the death are, are out from a questioning standpoint. I, think I mean, lost. really. Where is everyone's parents? <laughs> what is that? Are they going to kill her now? I'm so confused. Uh, <laughs> don't let them really intimidate old. you. You what? ask the question, question carefully. Do it. <clears throat> um, first of all, I'm not 12, I mean 8, <laughs> uh, but if any of you um, uh, uh, call over like a TV like Jim Parsons, can you do it with like wheels like in the virtual presence device episode? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Well, I, you have to explain exactly what you're looking for. You want them to do a virtual presence episode? Well, well no, no, no. What? Um, God, uh, Adam. What? They already did one. I mean, they already at Comic-Con. What? Uh, like, you we'll see, rather all us not out. be here, just be on screens. You want us all to come out on... You don't want us here. Basically, is what you're saying. <laughs> Can you do it in a virtual presence device? Yes, they could. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Technology is available. It is. All right, They're next like, question. Find, find your mother. Where's your mother? These kids are young to be so drunk. Uh, my <laughs> question is... <laughs> My question is for Jim. 
I want to know how he kept such a placid look on his face during the show. <laughs> what look did I have? A placid look on your face. How do you keep that? How do you not break? <laughs> the sort oh, of dead oh, behind um, the eyes. <laughs> I'm just a professional and I stay focused. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, your Did question. Did he say flaccid? Hi. <laughs> P, P, flaccid. Um. <laughs> and flaccid's pronounced flaxid, by the way. Oh. Next question. <laughs> Um, when Chuck Lord does the things at the end of the episode and I wanted to know how long did it take you to build the Lego Death Star and how much fun did you guys have? Oh, the, the poor, poor people that work for us built the Lego <laughs> Death Star. There's a lot of wonderful assistants on the show spent days, <laughs> weeks, weeks, weeks building the Lego Death Star and uh, the, the, she's talking about the vanity card that I wrote thanking them individually and, and apologizing for not paying them extra. But we, 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 <laughs> bought, we bought the Death Star on eBay and in the description it said assembled oh. and what it didn't say was and then taken apart. <laughs> Which was true. So it arrived in the office, and we said, this is going to be great, and it came. And it was worse than if you bought it unassembled because the pieces weren't organized. They were just loose. And um, uh, Jen, I can't think of Jen's last name, but she sat for weeks in our production office putting it together. Yeah, there was a few nervous breakdowns around that Death Star. <laughs> oh, and, and after, after she had it nearly all put together, but uh, it was actually cut from the episode <laughs> that it was originally going to be in, and then we, we put it in a different episode so that she didn't kill herself. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's in. Next question. Hi, Kaylee. Quick question. What's it like kissing Johnny and Kunal, and who's a better kisser? <laughs> Well, I've kissed Johnny a lot more. Um, Kunal was good. It was fun. <laughs> what is it? A little, like, can you just... Well, was I kissing my brother? That... You kissed your brother? Well... <laughs> <laughs> they were both good. All right, next question. Great, wonderful. My question is for Kaylee. Um, are we ever gonna know Penny's last name? You know, I get asked that a lot. You'll have to ask the writers, but I think it's, I think she's just like Cher. She just goes by one. <laughs> I, ask, I ask myself that too. Sometimes I look at my mail, we have a lot of scenes with mail, and I think, and sometimes like, some <laughs> we have last names on there, they're not real, but. I don't know. Do you think she'll ever have one? It's kind of now become a whole thing. I don't know. At this point, we're a little superstitious about it. I know, I'm afraid to have one now. Yeah. A, se a series finale? Yeah, that'll be the big yeah, the reveal. The worst series finale yeah, ever. <laughs> the big reveal. Penny Jones. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Next question. Hi guys, my name is David. I'm from Houston, former neighbor of Jim Parsons. And brother of Adam Savage, apparently. That's right. My question, I'm a brand new uh, fan of this show, just discovered it in January, but it comes on and reruns 19 times a week. <laughs> So I've caught up on everything. Two scenes. I love what all of you have done with your characters, but Simon, uh, no. my question is directed to you, sir. Sorry if I've let you down. Well, no, you've not let. You've I not love let everything me down you've at all. all done, but Simon. Simon, he has some notes for you. Yes. <laughs> The two scenes you delivered, the eating the butterfly scene, mm. and then the scene where Howard was telling Bernadette that she had made him a better woman. Mm -hmm. Sir, you deserve an Emmy for both of those Aww. scenes. Thanks. My question is where do you see yourself in, say, 10 to 15 years as an actor, and what are your aspirations? Wow. Um, <laughs> um, Boring. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kunal, I'm sorry. Um, working as far away from this guy as I can. Uh, no, I, 
Um, you know, I, I, I hope to be lucky enough to be working uh, with such a great company uh, as, as I have in the last five seasons, and um, I'm, I'm excited to do different things. Uh, I, like, I don't like to do the same things over and over, so yeah, um, I, I know that's a little vague, but hopefully it'll take me back here to Comic-Con. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, uh, I have I have a question for you, uh, Simon. Mm. Speaking of future aspirations, um, given that the season ended with Wallowitz going to space, would you, if you had the opportunity, go to space? Yeah, I mean, it sounds uh, yeah, especially having gotten to like get in that mindset during the the last season. It's it sounds and talking to Mike Massimino, it just sounds like the most unbelievable experience I, I, I could imagine. Uh, well, uh, in that vein, we have a surprise for you. A surprise for me. Uh, come on, Colonel. What? Richard, uh, astronaut Richard Seafoss to the stage, please. Uh, oh my God. Am I being deported? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm astronaut Rick Seafoss. I flew the space shuttle three times, twice as a pilot, once as a commander. Let me tell you, let me tell you folks and you folks, flying in space is a life-changing, incredible experience. Now I'm the chief test pilot for a company called x -Core Aerospace, and we're on the verge of having the ability with our Lynx suborbital space plane to take folks like you into space. So my question for you, Simon. Yes. Would you be interested in flying in space with me on board the Lynx suborbital space plane? Well, as you think about that, we're going to show you a video of what the experience will really be like. So, enjoy. Oh my god. Flying with us on board the Lynx, it's a whole set of different experiences. All of the things that I experienced flying the shuttle, all of those phases of flight are there. The boost, the weightlessness, the fact that you're up in a pilot seat as opposed to being in the back like a passenger on an airliner. This is more like the right stuff kind of experience. It takes about a minute after engine light to go supersonic. Anticipate about a 75 degree flight path. You'll be pressed back at two and a half G's or so. You're going straight up, that's the key element of it. Things happen in a hurry. That altimeter's clicking by pretty darn fast. About 70 to 80,000 feet, the sky starts to turn dark. By 100,000 feet, it's gone black. So once we get to main engine cutoff, we'll have a brief period of weightlessness and the arms will kind of float. And then you have several minutes to enjoy the view and, and enjoy for yourself the sensation of being more so few have gone before. You get an opportunity to maneuver using the reaction control systems, turn it upside down and pick different attitudes and just hold there. You're going to get a spectacular view. And then from there, it's just a long glide back home. Looking at the Earth from space, it's virtually life-changing. Really the key driver to what will make this experience so special. What do you think? Should Simon go? Say. I didn't know you were serious. <laughs> like, oh I, I, you know, I have, I, the altitudes give me a lot of gas. <laughs> I'm just a picky eater, the dehydrated food thing. You I, can bring Fruit well, Loops. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. very kind of you. Um, you know what, Simon? Yeah. If you're not willing to do this, it, it, Colonel, could we offer this flight into space to somebody here? Absolutely, no problem. Let's go for it, Adam. Okay, well, uh, uh, everyone who asked a question and was online got a hand stamp. Let's bring everyone with a hand stamp up on stage. Let's bring everyone up. with a hand stamp got up the on hand stage. Stamp. Who wants to go to space? Who wants to go to space? Who wants to go to space? To go to space? I think Chances are they're under 11 they're years old. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Now this is everybody who asked a question, and we have an envelope for each of them, and in every envelope is a prize. 
But in one of those envelopes is an actual bona fide trip to space. <laughs> one of you will take the ride. Um, you want to hand out the envelopes? <laughs> is everybody up on stage? All right, let's start handing out the envelopes. Uh, no. <laughs> it's all going to happen in front of you. You can relax. Wait, she needs one too. Don't open them yet. Don't open them yet. We're going to have you all open them at the exact same time. So I got this right. One of those envelopes has a ticket that what? goes to out of, that get, gets you into space. A genuine Willy Wonka golden ticket, and I believe it's actually golden. Wow. Wow. How crazy yes. wow. is this? Okay. Does everyone okay. have their envelopes? All right, no, we're going no, to have you. No, 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 no. One, no. one more. One more. One more. All right, I'll tell you what the protocol will be. We're all going to count three, two, one, and then you will open your envelopes. Once everyone has them, do they have them now? No. 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 She, no. she needs an envelope. We just need. We're just waiting on one envelope. Waiting on one envelope. Next year, all you guys get to go to space. <laughs> Wouldn't it be horrible if this was all a joke? <laughs> we were like, Let's think think it, and like nothing happened. <laughs> we never be asked back. We never. So, do we have the envelope now? Right yes, I see someone waving it. So, are we ready? All right. Wait, ready? Does the girl have it? Does the little girl have an envelope? <laughs> someone give me the high side. Does she have it? Just give her one. <laughs> give her the envelope. Hi. Give her an envelope. All right. Is Who's it this hard to hide something in the space these go? days? God. I don't know. <laughs> Are we ready to go? No, she doesn't have it. We have All right. Her. She's down there. Right? Okay, okay. It's happening. <laughs> in a few minutes one of these one of these question askers is going to go get ready to go to space do they get a space suit yeah we'll be wearing full pressure suits it's the real deal awesome you could totally wear that to comic con next year <laughs> <laughs> do you get to un when you're weightless do you get to unclip your seatbelt and then like float around the cabin no we won't do that in stage trap you're sitting right next to me and i don't want anyone getting in the way of the controls you know so. <laughs> i guess that would be bad <laughs> When you guys are re-entering, do you actually get to see the outside of the ship glow, like with re-entry? Nope, doesn't get quite as hot as a shuttle. We're only going about three times the speed of sound instead of 25 times the speed of sound. But let me tell you, from 100 kilometers up, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's slower right. when you've gone Mach 25, you know. <laughs> okay, but. we are ready. Uh, if everyone is ready, we're gonna count. Three, three two, one. Open Lift your off. envelopes. If you have the golden ticket, wave it in the air. Tick, 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 tick. Oh my God! We have a winner! Come on over. Congratulations. What's your name? Mercedes, great. Well, you're going to have a life-changing experience. I can't wait to fly with you on board, Lynx. Oh, my yeah. gosh. All right. The Big Bang Theory, going where no sitcom has gone before. <laughs> let's have a big hand for Mercedes, and let's have a big hand for the creators and the cast of Big Bang Theory. This has been the Big Bang Theory panel. Thank, Thank you guys so much. Hey, Jim. Bye, Jim. <laughs> Bye, Jim. Bye, Thank Jim. You. Bye, Jim. Bye, guys. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. We love you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it once again for the cast and creative team from CBS Television's The Big Bang Theory.